so vikings 2019 and growing it's it's good it's great thanks for all the support by the way it's awesome and today i want to make a video for you guys which shows uh, how you print the parts so you can just start printing all the parts and you don't have to go into each and every build log to find how to orient the parts I think that's uh, something you've been asked for so let's just dig in this is the top assembly for the wiki and you can access this by password so uh, if you are a member of the builders club you can get it there in the file section or you ask me uh, send an email go to the website and uh, you'll, you'll get the password for this top assembly so you can access and view everything but uh, let's print so I'm using Cura and let's just dig in by the way if you want all the latest iterations go to uh, github they are always updated the one on thingiverse might be slightly behind not too much so you can use all those no problem these ones on github are always updated so yeah and i have of course downloaded all these parts on my computer so let's just dig in go to part print files and stock sdl files and let's just uh, start from um, start with the exterior parts and let's just uh, do the exterior first because you want different support for this guy you need support everywhere for this guy and you want to put it on its head like this and you want to uh, support everywhere and just slice it I'm gonna show you how it's gonna look like you want some brim also on the part so you can uh, keep the yeah keep the support in place that's why I use brim on this one and the rest of the X carrier so get rid of that one and load these ones let me show you how you print these guys so typically this one you put, put on its head also like that and uh, this guy the flag for the end stop you put on its back like this and uh, this clip for the hot end, the clamp I'm sorry you, put, you print like this and uh, that's it uh, the rest of the parts print as is <coughs> uh, we can do uh, touching build plate support for these guys let's go to worm gear parts let's bring in all the worm gear parts go to solivia and uh, first of all the brackets they are printing on their back like this same with this one like that they don't you, you need any support these guys need to be printed on the side like this so let me turn that one also they don't need any support uh, these guys also prints on the side on the back <laughs> or whatever you call it like this that one like that this one like that okay and of course this one you want to turn on its back as well same with this one these are the the covers for the belt locks so these are the belt locks this is another cover for the belt lock and these guys needs to be printed on this way <laughs> on this way <laughs> this way sorry for my English is rusty okay 
in the folder it says uh, 2x, 1x, 7x and so on uh, on the file names so you know how many you need for, for each and of course this one we need one extra that should do it so these guys all print without support keep the pace let's do the bed parts all of those so you want to tilt this one on its side like this and uh, yeah if you want to print this without support you can you can uh, you can print it both both ways actually but in, like this you don't need support if you have it like this that's what you need for the bed and uh, there's also no support here let's do just a titan extruder i like to tilt it um you can print it like this but since the the wall this wall is so thin i like to print it like that because we're doing this part 100 percent so yeah it doesn't like to be printed uh, vertically that wall since it's so thin and um, no support on the titan let's do the x idler bracket so yeah um this is the spacer you need to do that one it should be printed like that of course and uh, this guy i print like this you need some support touching build plate support you need, actually need everywhere for this one so everywhere support for these guys and also multiply them by one so you have two of each and that should be good we can have a look at how it looks uh, sliced and uh, you would need a brim for for the um, you don't need a brim for this guy but the the spacers need a brim or they will not be very good let's do all the necessary parts x y yeah x y um, uh, corner brackets uh, the idlers the idler corner bracket i usually print like this with support touching build plate this one don't, doesn't need any support but this one does so and you also need to multiply these guys so you have two of each so x carrier fork fork and x carrier thumb screw let's do those let's go to solid view so they this one you want to print on its side like this and this one on its head like this and you want seven of each and uh, you need some support for this guy up inside the slot for the nut so support touching build plate for this one you don't need for this one uh, you might want a brim for this guy as it's very thin it doesn't have a lot of adhesion to the bed so to get it to stick good you might want a brim for that guy so let's just multiply those we need six more yeah there you go it's not much left now i think we have done the yeah so let's do the y carrier and the flag and end stop brackets yeah, model solid view these guys print on their back with support touching build plate this one prints like this and this one prints like I think the best way to print this is maybe like this actually we need two of this one and uh, touching build plate support uh, 
and prepare let's have a look you also would it's nice also to have a brim here to keep the support in place or if that fails everything fails it doesn't get pretty so take the time to take off the brim yeah these guys don't need anything okay so what do we have left the C carrier we need four of that one as you see in the file name it says 4x and that means you need four and it prints like this it's not much support we need that's why it prints like this but it's yeah it's kind of tricky because it's so high but uh, touching build plate support it is and um, we have a look at the layer view it's the same as the Y carriers actually so Cura is doing something <laughs> some Cura has some issues here these guys the supports you see here should not be there they think it's a hole up inside here yeah so that's a bug in Cura I reported this earlier actually but yeah whatever it's there don't mind them and we want to get rid of these dots so let's increase the xy distance 1.1 should do it i think 1.1 1.2 depends on your nozzle i guess yeah now they are gone so the notches are printing fine so we need of course to multiply with three more and uh, there you go for Y carriers, I, I recommend doing one or two at a time. Okay, so let's do the tensioner also. Uh, tensioner, t tension bracket, tension fork. So here we go. And um, yeah, as per normal, print on its back like this. And this one on its side. Like this. Right, some models and you want to duplicate if you want two tensioners it can be nice to have two tensioners so I'll multiply those by one and uh, there you have the tension brackets no support is needed so that's actually all the parts that went quickly I think uh, if you miss anything, let me know. I'm gonna try post more, more uh, videos now and the, the new premium version is up and running So I will do a, a review of that one and so uh, thanks for watching and keep uh, building, okay?